Hello, it's the Matrixers again, with Shiva and Jonathan. Today we do some questions about the last video. Three ways out of the Matrix. There were around 20 questions and we're going to answer them today, I would say, right? Yes exactly. Then let's get started. Exactly. So, the first question is about the cocoon. And there was a question. The true self sits in the cocoon, so to speak. Good question. So, when I had the experience in the cocoon, I would say, did I feel in a different state of consciousness? Yes. But whether I was the real self, I can't confirm now. So, maybe partially, but I don't think so entirely. Then comes the second question. Namely, when you come out of the cocoon, are you the totality of self? So to speak. Yes, yes, I would say so too. Definitely. Then at the latest. We know when we've done it. The third question. And then you can incarnate in the free universe, so to speak, wherever you want. On no planet, of course, because then you would be tied back to the cycle of incarnation. Yes it is. So in the free universe you can incarnate anywhere you want. Or not at all. Or not at all. Correct yes. And additionally without amnesia. This is of course a great advantage. Because then you remember how you incarnated and also know how to get out of the incarnation. And the incarnation itself is also much shorter. So you don't stay 80 years in the same body, in the free universe. Well, you don't actually do it that way, I would say. You go there. Here and you can just jump into any body, alien body, human body, animal body or even plants. And you are the creator again. That means you can also create bodies, create universes, create galaxies, just create. You are the creator again, you are free. That is exactly what the free universe also implies. The term free universe. Anything is possible there, just about anything. You can multiply yourself fivefold, tenfold. You can make your own spaceship or whatever. That's the next question. Or can one then escape from this prison and incarnate again on Earth in what one wants, i.e. consciously and possibly help other people? So you can at least let yourself be doctor. Like some media do. Like this Seth, for example, or something like that. They're just not in the Matrix. But I don't believe that one incarnates here again voluntarily or because one then runs the risk of falling into it again. Yes. Well, let's say you've been in prison for 10 years and then you're finally released. The question then is whether you would like to visit again in between, to prison. So I think very few do that. And of course you also have to consider that there might be a risk of being caught again. Exactly. That you let yourself be seduced. The next question, and then when you've taken a portal loophole, the whole memory comes back. Yes, we assume so. Would you say so? So the memory comes back. Maybe not in one go, but in a short process memory comes back. That's when you get through the loophole. You should first retreat to a quiet place and first recapitulate and remember everything before you go straight into the full. In the free universe. Exactly. The next ask Shiva. So, then, is one also the whole or the totality of self? Then you wake up, so to speak, in the egg or cocoon. First when you go through the loophole, right? 
Nico, please ask the questions more intelligent. How was that now? So one is then also the totality of the self? Then you wake up in a cocoon, so to speak. First when you go through the loophole, or no. Everything is mixed up there. There are three ways to get out of the matrix and cocoon with loophole is now being mixed up. It's not like that. So there are three ways out of the matrix, either through the loophole or out via the matrix shell or just out via the ascension. But in any case, after that you are the totality of self. It doesn't matter how it ends, in the end you're back to your wholeness. So the next question how is the world there? Is the world possibly already more technological or maybe, like in the film Matrix, robots in power? Yes. So the free universe is gigantic, it contains everything. Everything is possible there. There are planets that are totally backwards, they then run around with clubs. Then there are certain quadrants that consist only of AI. Then there are quadrants, yes, all of which have artificial intelligence or robots or giant spaceships. Anything you can imagine is actually possible, in all types and variations. There are also spiritual planets, certainly, where one distances oneself from technology and takes care of spirituality. Or there are also planets, that's exactly the other way around. So in any case there is the AI or AI aliens that I saw there recently on gigantic AI spaceships or whatever it was. It was creepy. I find it creepy. Yes, it's kind of creepy. It the next question. Can one then be spirit or incarnate on any planet as physical matter? Yes, in the free universe you can be anything. Free universe. You have absolute freedom there. And absolute power and absolute responsibility. Remember Star Trek. The Q exactly. Q on Star Trek is a very good example of what is actually possible in the free universe. The good Q all right. Next question. Is there a war out there between different galaxies? Yes, suppose it, but yes. They're just playing war. Yes, that's right, they fight each other there too. You just have to think in terms of Star Wars. You can imagine it like that. You fight against robots or among each other. That the parties are fighting among themselves and such. So definitely, yes. And the free universe was also conceived in this sense. It's also a kind of matrix in that sense. Just a free matrix, isn't it? Complete. Every everything has been created from us. So, as I said, there is nothing but love. And after that everything was created. So also the free universe. Yes, you could say. Next question. Can you do everything in the free universe or are there judges? Yes, I once heard that there is also something like an order. Yes, a kind of order, which then also pays attention somewhere. So they don't sentence you to jail or anything. But they're kind of balanced. We don't know exactly, but from hearsay. Yes, there are certain rules. Just like traffic rules. Exactly. You can't just play creator god and create galaxies straight out of Earth. Because in the free universe you are fully responsible for everything you do. And that means if you ever have a galaxy or you do something wrong and everything implodes or something. That means not everyone can do everything right away. Then it is actually possible to develop further. This is where the development really begins. Exactly. Why would you want to go to the free universe? Yes, I think everyone can answer the question for themselves as to why they want it or not. For me because we are free, yes and can do anything. And then you are free, the amnesia is gone. You remember everything you've ever done, in all your lifetimes and also in the time before you went into the matrix. It's not that we weren't born until we walked the matrix or something, but we've always existed for billions of years and then the memories all come back. 
when you get rid of the amnesia and you find your wholeness again, your true self. And what we are here in everyday life is not the true self. We got a different name. We got an ID card with a photo and appearance. All of which we are not. And the everyday self that we are here is just a kind of apparent identity so that we can walk around down here. And many have identified themselves so much with their pseudo-identity that they no longer know anything at all. That they are in a matrix. That there is wholeness of the self and stuff like that. They don't even know that, do they? They have no idea. Or, no, no, but that's how they want it. The higher selves are already here because they want to experience it that way. They want to identify themselves in play. So for those who like it, they experience walking around without amnesia, of course. Next question. So the goal is to get into the free universe. A few questions about that. If the light wardens of the matrix are trying with all their might to convince us to go into the light trap in order to reincarnate, then why exactly is that bad? That's not bad. But it's not good either. It is what it is, I would say. Everyone as they like. Yes, exactly. And another question. Why is the free universe better than the matrix? Nobody says that either. It's better for some, it's better for others. Everyone as he likes. Yes. If you like having a body that you can't do much with. Don't like flying or anything else. Or even like amnesia. You can stay in the matrix. After all, everyone is free to decide what to do or what to do after death. What he does in his life. The benefit of the matrix. You can rediscover and experience everything, which of course would not be possible if you were omniscient. Of course, if one is omniscient, one can play creator God. So in that sense you are omniscient, at least about yourself. Why was the matrix created in the first place when we have been in the free universe before to practice so that we can be better in the free universe and most certainly to experience? I would watch the video of the light trap again. And the video, the miniature universe. And then you also get a picture of why the matrix was created in the first place. We were all involved in creating at least the big matrix to the multiverse. Yes wasn't at the Earth Matrix. And exactly, supposedly we wanted to experience our world and what became of it. Next question. And if we arose from an original source that split and that happened in the free universe, then you can still ask the same question as, who created the original source, etc. So the original source didn't create us. It didn't split, but it sent us out, the souls of our higher selves. Yes, the original source. Yes, it was, I wouldn't say it like that. Well, it always existed, just like the true selves. Only this body was created here, this personality that calls himself Jonathan. Everything you see around you. So it's actually pretty easy to tell the difference. Everything that is perishable is created. Exactly everything that can be built up and will eventually break down again. Whether in a year or in two billion years, it doesn't matter. But what can break or somehow dissolve or break or something is created. And the true selves, they can't dissolve. They've always been there and that's how it is with the original source. It's always been there and of course, what's behind the original source? Of course, we also ask the question logically. I've seen fluctuations and flashes and geometric shapes and something artificial. But who really knows? Yes, first of all we have to come to our own true selves and then we can go and have a look at some point. One step at a time, I would say. But well, we suspect something, but there's no way of knowing. Not yet, not yet. Yes. How do you know so much about the free universe? Can you commute between the matrix and the free universe? 
Yes, you can do it consciously. Well, you can do it with awareness journeys. And then you can see things in consciousness. Unfortunately, you are still somehow tied to your body here and cannot fly away. No, no, you only project a part of yourself to the other place. Sort of like remote viewing, just with images and emotions. Yes. Next question. What happens when you die in the free universe? Is it even possible to die there? Yes, you can die, but you don't really die. So only the body that you have taken over can die. But the true self, the soul cannot die. That's impossible, yes. So you can say that everything is somehow completely different. You can't really compare it to here, I would say. If you die there, you just practically move into the next body with no amnesia. Did you play something there? And then you say okay, now I'll go there, that's a better way to imagine it. You can also take on any form in the universe and it is then also indestructible. So, like the Q in Enterprise. That's the way it is. You can't kill him or shoot him or anything like that. That's just not possible. Unless he makes himself mortal. Yes, then he dies okay. And even then. If the Matrix is a scaled-down hologram of the real universe, how can you get around with black holes in the real universe? Won't she eat it at some point? So we tend to assume that black holes are portals, but of course we don't know that. We haven't been in yet. Yes. The whole universe the entire Milky Way, for example. There is said to be a black hole in the middle of the Milky Way. And that's why it's so bright in the middle, because that's where all the suns explode. What exactly should I do now? How I see it? First, I need to get my consciousness state to level 9, and second, to get friends, family, and people I like to level 9. No. No. Only yourself exactly. And then with them into the free universe. No only you. You cannot decide for others and that will never work. Everyone has to decide for themselves. Yes, this is important. Sure. There are many people who think I'd like to be in the free universe. But then what about my husband and wife or my children? That is of course correct. That's also a big problem that people in the Matrix have and why they sometimes or often tend to go back into the light after death because they think, yes, my dad is still down there and my mom and my kids and my boyfriend etc. And this of course creates this eternal cycle that you keep going back into the Matrix because you know your loved ones are there too. And Leaving the matrix is therefore primarily, I would say at most, something for people who are able to free themselves from these bonds within physical reality. Next question. Do you see your friends and family at all in the free universe or in is there a free universe where there is only one reality? Say my friends and I experience the same thing? Or is it that they each create their own universe? Well, when they're all out at some point, then it'll all happen again. Yes, of course, the free universe is a joint production of all souls, one could say. And it has just as much objective reality as the earth. And there you can also meet up with a friend and go with the meal and he will tell you the same thing that he had dinner with you. And it's the same in the free universe, there you can all meet again. In any case. And once they've made it, as soon as they come out, of course. But over there, time doesn't matter that much. Also, when you're ready to really get into the free universe, you don't think about it. Oh my friends are coming too now, because you've gotten so far removed from everything that it doesn't matter to you. And if it still takes one million year, it won't seem like one million years to you, because time is somehow totally relative and everything is just different there. So don't worry about it. If you want out, go out, but don't give a damn. So what do you mean take care of your loved ones? Anyway, but not for their ascension. You can't. 
everyone has to decide on their own responsibility to climb up or down. To leave the matrix in one of the three ways we have mentioned. Next question. If you go through the black portal, I escape the light trap, then you can leave the earth matrix with your soul part or as far as you have just come in the incarnation with so many soul parts. With both variants you are only then in the multidimensional matrix, right? No, well, the multidimensional matrix is the astral plane and they are already within the matrix, i.e. outside of the free universe, I would say. No, not outside of the free universe. So, well, well, it's not in the free universe. Yes, the multidimensional matrix is the earth matrix. And with 4D, 5D, 6D, 7D, 8D, 9D and I don't know so everything that is still manipulated. Yes exactly. Everything that just belongs to these whole dimensional planes. That's why it's multidimensional. And the free universe is outside of that too. So to speak, can you say that? You can say that, so to speak. But you can always put it all so perfectly into words. But we can hope you understand. Next question. In the free universe you are your true self and you are with the source, so to speak, creator. One is, so to speak, reunited with the creator and the source? No, you are your true self again. But before you can unite with the source, if you want that at all, you still need a long, strong development, i.e. a return to the source. So that's still going on. So you are not immediately reunited with the source, but you feel very close to it. You can already feel unity up there. Yes, you can even go to the source and say, Hey, how's it going? Everything fit instead? Well, that's fine, but then, you don't necessarily go back in there or you don't want to somehow merge with it or something. Wouldn't I say now? I think all the souls that are rushing around in the free universe, they want to play, they want to play all day and the area is so gigantic, it's a gigantic playground. So there are definitely some who want that and are developing back towards it. But I would say the majority plays. As you say, um, exactly. Next question. From the alien interview book, this being was probably at home in the multidimensional universe then, wasn't it? So in the free universe, it was home. And one more thing. The free universe is then the free matrix in that sense, isn't it? You could say so. So designations or not, you call it what you like. So free universe. That big matrix. So small that's how you can imagine it. Multidimensional matrix as small or as maybe. Next question. And if you leave the earth matrix, which is the kind of prison, then you get into the free matrix. Yes. It is. Next question. Even if we were in the free universe, are we still in the egg? And when we awaken from the egg, we are the totality of self again, and then we are back at source. So we are then the totality of the self. And of course you are always connected to the source, but as we said in the previous question, you are not immediately reunited with the original source. You feel the unity, but then you play, you're not back. Unless you absolutely want to, there will definitely be ways, surely. Yes, that was all the question. Oh, already finished? Exactly. And then I would say see you in the next video. Yes, and for the next video we have already set something up on the table. Maybe a little hint. Exactly. Support us give us a link. Go to our website. Yes. And subscribe to us diligently. Take care. Ciao.